And uh, what I noticed today, it's really necessary to talk about one-on-one. -on -one. One on one is essence of the basketball game, for sure. Because what I must say this, that one on one without and with the ball. Because if players with the ball don't look the basket and don't try to play one on one, we are in handicap with one player less. So we must work on this, that players with the ball must be turned to the basket, must look the basket, must attack the basket, must attack his uh, defensive player. And other very important thing is one-on-one -on -one without the ball. They are staying, they are not moving. We talk much about uh, now about uh, getting open move, got, uh, cutting, but we must insist on this that players are doing this. So I, I, will, uh, I would like to explain now four types of one-on-one -on -one in offense. Four types. We have four types of one-on-one. -on -one. First of all, at least for young players, is dynamic one-on-one. -on -one. Dynamic one-on-one. -on -one. Not static as now high level, especially men basketball is. They take the ball, especially in NBA, and they play one-on-one -on -one isolation, and other core players are staying. That is not basketball, especially not for youth. So all five players must be involved, especially players without the ball. They must move. And that's questions of attitude, of mentality, of different uh, drills, and all attitude that we teach them how to play without the ball. I, already, I always talk about not what and how, but why also. So we must work on this. And I notice that you insist today when the player catch the ball, he needs to look the basket and play. After that, when he catch the ball, one-on-one -on -one dynamic, in motion. Second type, of course, is then after that static. Static one-on-one. -on -one. But we have only few, especially in Europe, few players who are able to play one-on-one -on -one static. Because you need to have over the average technical skills and, of course, also physical skills. Black players are in advantage already, so they are able to play one-on-one -on -one from static position. So, especially with youth, start first with dynamic one-on-one, -on -one, then after that, of course, they will develop, develop. like we saw uh, Sasha Georgievich, for example, he is exact, uh, excellent, he was excellent in one-on-one, -on -one, and now for sure not anymore so, because he is older, and so we must start with dynamic, static, second, and third type of one-on-one -on -one is dribbling one-on-one -on -one full court and half court also. So that's also a situation where we must insist that players attacking defense, not to bring the ball over, but attack defense and beat defense in dribbling one-on-one -on -one full or half court. And last thing, one-on-one, -on -one, is what uh, players did today, is one-on-one -on -one close to the basket. So we have four types of one-on-one. -on -one. And I will show you now this situation on the board. I prefer to do this on the court, but I don't have this possibility now. So I will show you two drills and these two situations, so you can use this also after that, or here in the practices, or after that also at home. That means, so you can see also here. First of all, we are already in a situation three on three. And when we are playing this situation that we have, we have a ball on one side, and another player on another side. So in this case, of course, here we have one on one in static position because ball is here and we have one on one already against the defense uh, which is correct close out and stop penetration in the war situation of what do you want also as uh, some coaches said one foot in front and one in back but I prefer at least have a war situation so be in this situation and they must attack they but the uh, attacker don't know which is my weakest foot in this case. If I 
depend in what situation, in what position. So now is this, and now we have this situation on the other side. Defensive man from this player is, of course, on the help side. So he or she is in. And I insist that they always must go in, or this is or V cut or L cut. This is not important in this case. But after that, immediately when make a contact, come to this position where they are able to make a basket. This is fundamental. So to receive the ball in the area, they are, they are able to make a basket with good percentage. And this free throw line position is sure a good position for every player. It must be, because this is free throw line and this is free throw. So in this case, when this defensive player ball must come in the right moment from here to this player, of course, with the outside hand, peripheral pa pa uh, pass. Immediately, if we have now three solutions, three possibilities. If defensive player is late, everybody know, and that is why we must ask for the players, they must shoot immediately. So shoot. He catch the ball, catch and shoot. Catch the ball in a position where he is uh, danger or she is danger and uh, he must shoot. If, second possibility, if a defensive man come closer and run close to him or to her, then, and is, if especially she or he is out of balance, then it's useful to make a pump fake, pump fake and go in, in penetration, or till the basket or only one dribble. Uh, stop and shut. That's the second. And of course, we are knowing now in the third sol solution is when defensive man, defensive player is coming close correctly, close out correctly, and play defense in position wall and stop the shot. So in this case, the next possibility is to make a static one on one. Or yeah, I prefer at least after that, to make another pass to another side. So we have the ball here, wall defense, ball is here, or too far away for shooting, or not possibility to make static one-on-one. -on -one. So in this case, we try to make the pass to another player on another side. And now, this player is without the ball. And this player must start to play one-on-one -on -one without defense, now, without ball. So now it's important to cut immediately. And I prefer immediately after this pass, with, in this case, with right hand to Laszlo, to go immediately first pass to cut in front. To cut in front. I don't need and I don't, I don't insist on this move away and then to the ball. Because what defense must to do after this pass, defense must jump in the direction of the ball and back. So I don't see the reason to go here and then again. I don't make a philosophy of cutting. I want that player read the defense and cut the shortest way possible. If defensive uh, players stay here, the ball position, I want the first move is in front, it is possible. Cut in front. If defensive player play correct and jump here to stop cutting in front, then we have a back door. And we have always this possibility to, to make immediately move. And very important thing here is, especially with the tallest player and girls also, when uh, they are not danger to shoot from far away. For example, she or he received the ball here somewhere. And of course, tactically, coaches or players alone go away and challenge her or, sh or, or him to shoot. But it is too far. Well, he is not a good shooter or she is not a good shooter. 
So she don't know, or he don't know what to do now. We must explain again to the players what to do now. They have always this chance to make for first pass immediately to another player and cut. This player don't have enough time to stop this cutting inside because she or he is too far away. But important for him is to make <coughs> a cut first step immediately in the moment when I pass to Nar, I'm cut immediately in. 